hey everyone. So I'd like to talk some more. I'd like to talk some more about um, my past things in, the, in my past, which um, had to do with the polarity of of the mind. For example, um, you know, I was taught. Um, to always be polite and nice and to like things that are nice and polite and to dislike things that are rude or mean or ugly and even people who are dislike people who are rude and mean. And that's interesting because there's a lot of those kind of people, you know, it's hard to avoid them and it's you know, if you have the belief that you don't like rude or mean mean people, imagine how much you're going to react in the world, you know. And it's interesting because, you know, I was raised to be nice and polite and cooperative. Yet, there's still a polarity to that, which is being mean. So externally, you have the appearance of being polite and nice and kind. But internally, you have a judgment about people and things that are mean or rude. And I would offer that that uh, the meanness is probably within yourself. Like, there's a part of me that is... Like, if you even have the belief that... Uh, if you have a belief, you know... Let's take the Jehovah's Witness belief, for example, that... You know, you're, you're righteous and everyone else is evil. It's like, how mean is that? Like, doing that to yourself. I mean, that that is the opposite of self-love. Um, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of funny the way polarity works because you want you want to be nice and polite, but then internally. You're mean to yourself, so, you know, it's, again, the re repression is in these, these thoughts, the repression of emotions, and I, I just noticed it within myself, how I was raised to be polite and kind, and not to be mean, not to be rude, and I guess sometimes people aren't even... <clears throat> really being rude it's just everyone's raised differently and the problem with being raised to think that you know you have to be nice and polite the problem is the reality <laughs> you know there's it could be a cold ugly world out there a harsh world and the niceness and politeness kind of just softens that up you know so that you don't have to deal with the reality of the situation we are all in right now in this lifetime. Um, so there's much more than just being polite or nice or mean or rude because that's impossible to just never be mean, never be rude. You wouldn't be a human, you know, if you didn't have meanness in you, at least some, some little bit of meanness or rudeness. Like for me, you know, I'm very nice and polite, but if I'm starving and I need to eat and I, my blood sugar is low, I don't really give a damn about human life anymore. I just care about eating. And so that's, you know, you know, kind of my mean, mean side. And every negative thought I have against myself is a pretty mean and rude you know, thought. So, the things that I was taught about how to be and how not to be, it's like there's this fear. They're fear based. It's like this fear of mean people, fear of rude people. And the important thing is who are you within being around mean or rude people? It's, it's very hard because. If I'm around a mean or rude person, I 
the belief system immediately comes up and there's immediately a filter which is filtering my perception and really judging that person and uh, without actually even without actually being willing to even look deeper than what they appear to be to find to look deeper into the cause of why they're mean or rude so um with the belief of being polite and nice there's also the fear of hurting other people or, or coming across as mean or rude which i definitely have i have this fear of hurting other people i don't want to be mean to people i don't want to be rude I'll, do everything I can to not, which at times makes me more repressed and creates a greater polarity within myself. So yeah, that's, I just want to make this, you know, short, light and simple. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.